Okay, welcome back to Snacks. We are going to bring back our fan favorite game, Snack or Pass, with Lindsay Horan, European edition. Oh, boy. So you only get three passes. Seven questions. We're going to give you a scenario, and then you okay. have to say snack or pass. Snack obviously being like smash or pass. Like you do it or pass. And I can only pass three times. Yeah. Yeah. But sa- snack means yes, I'll do it. Yeah. Snack means yes. Pass means pass. I got okay. I think I got this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you get proposed to in Paris, but they put your name in lights on the Af- Eiffel Tower. Snack or pass? Like my fiance, my fiance puts my name there? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to do this elaborate plan. He goes all out and he's like, I'm going to put Lindsay Horan. Will you marry me on the, li- the Eiffel Tower in lights? Oh, my God. Huh? <laughs> Why? Because it's just like kind of cringe, like too much. Yeah, like that's like absolutely too much. And if he does it in Paris, so help me God. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. All right. Hint, mm-hmm. hint. Mm-hmm. No Paris proposals for Linda. Yeah. Okay. Two. Okay. So we have one one pass already. You get a free trip to London. Great. But you have to say you sound like you're from London, like Paul Rudd and forgetting Sarah Marshall at least once an hour to a London person. Snack. Good. I love that. That would be fun, actually. That's like a drinking game. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how great my accent would be, but go on. Give it. You try us. Yeah. Say it again. You sound like you're from London. You said. Oh my god, that was awful. That was. She only said one word. It was literally awful. She literally just said you. I just went to London with Tyler too, and we we just did the accents the whole time. But now I'm nervous in front of you guys. Okay. Well, just close your eyes and pretend we're not here. No, I'm not doing (laughs) it. Okay, we'll move on then. Because everyone will see this. Yeah. We have a large audience. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) A fresh baguette is delivered to your door every morning. Nice, fresh, hot, buttered. But you have to share it with a pigeon. Snack? Yeah, I'd snack on that. Same. Literally. Here you go, little pigeon. One for me, one for you. (laughs) Yeah, that's not that bad. (laughs) All right, snack. You get another free trip to the Greek islands. But your partner is only going to wear those short sleeve shirts completely unbuttoned the whole time and now suddenly has a ton of chest hair. Sam, is this Pat? Apparently. <laughs> I'm like, snack. Wait, who comes up with these questions? Well, Jay came up with this one. Okay. <laughs> snack. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Go yeah, for it. little chest hair. No. Or a lot yeah. of chest hair. Or, in some yeah. cases. It's okay. Okay, so you get a free car. Woohoo! But it's one of those stick shift uh, fiats that can barely make it up a hill. Pass. Pass. Oh. I, I can't drive stick. Girl wants the Rolls Royce after her brother's wedding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you okay. know it. You drink wine for free anywhere, but every time you do, you have to be the one who explains to the whole table where the grape is from and how it was produced. This is literally <laughs> what I do, so I'm embarrassed <laughs> if you're going to say pass as if that's so embarrassing. I don't think that's that embarrassing. It's It's, it's fine. You literally do that, and Christy will get out her little app. I know. Christy takes app. a picture of the wine label, and then she reads us, like, the tasting notes. Oh, the, like, Vino Vino app or whatever? Yeah. yeah. I think it's so fun to pretend or try to, like, figure out what you're tasting. I think if I knew more about wine, I would do that. So, yeah. snack or really? So snack. I, yeah, I like it. I, I like it. <laughs> I would snack, too. <laughs> Okay, last Literally one. who I am as a person. <laughs> okay. You get a lifetime supply of cheese, but it's only brie, and that's all you can ever eat in terms of cheese ever again. I don't eat a lot of cheese. Is brie the... Sorry, hold on. Brie's the one that... Uh, it's soft. Does it smell it's horrible? Like, no. No, it's soft. I, all cheese in it, actually, it probably France could just be smells smelly. bad. I feel like they don't like refrigerate anything over there. No, it's just like in the shop and like sits in like a little container. Yeah, you know, they don't even really like refrigerate milk all the time and eggs and stuff. I guess eggs you don't have to, but I'm always getting like room temperature milk on my cereal over there. No, it's like you go to the grocery store, all the milk is just like in an aisle and so are the eggs. And I'm just like, what in the world? But then I'll like go put mine in the refrigerator. Well, yeah. You're not a weirdo. You want to hear a funny story? When we were in France for camp- one time, Midge went up to um, the lady and was like, can I have a croissant? And she goes, what? 
And so she goes, do you have any more croissants? And the lady goes, I'm sorry, what? And so Midge turns to me and was like, Lynn, like, help me out here. Like, I want a croissant. And so I go, uh, a croissant? And she goes, ah, a croissant. <laughs> and then got her a croissant. Wow, that was a great <laughs> accent. A Thank croissant? you. But I was like, I'm so confused. What's happening? 